Hi, I'm Gerardo from Charnot. In this video, I'm going to show you a super easy way to complete your notes in just a couple of minutes using Charnot Chrome extension and mobile app. You can find all the links you need to download, install, and get started below in the comment section. If this is your first time here, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification so you don't miss the latest tips and tricks to expedite your medical documentation. Now, without much further ado, let's get started. This tutorial is beginner friendly and you can do the exact same thing as soon as you finish watching this video. And the really cool thing about it is that you can create a free account on Charnot and start dictating and inserting smart templates on any web-based EHR. You don't need to use any fancy software or microphones. The only thing that you need is to open your EHR in your Chrome browser and the smartphone. It's that simple. So first of all, let's have a quick look at the note that we're going to create together today. Okay, so this note is a standard follow-up visit for a patient with heart failure, atrial fibrillation, and coronary artery disease. It has a standard physical exam and a pretty comprehensive assessment and plan. All right, I think that looks pretty amazing. And the best thing is that using Charnot is going to take just a couple of minutes to complete a note like this. I know what you might be thinking right now. This is a bit too much. It's going to take me forever to write a note that long. I have patience to see you now. You might feel a little overwhelmed, but trust me, it's much easier than it looks. Now let's begin. The way we're going to recreate this note and the way you're going to be able to write any other notes super easy and super fast is by using something called snippets. Snippets are basically boiler text templates you can quickly insert in your note. They are ready to go. All you have to do is type a shortcut or abbreviation like this and it's going to work out of the box. The content of the snippet will expand in your note. Let me show you how. Step one, type the snippet abbreviation prefix. By default, we use the add symbol as a prefix. Step two, type the snippet abbreviation or shortcut you want to expand. We're going to type chf-hpi. Step three, press tab on your keyboard and it works. If you want, you can change that expansion key you press after typing the abbreviation on your extension preferences. You can choose from tab, enter, or space. Here, you can also change your snippet abbreviation prefix. So instead of using the add symbol, you could choose to change it to period or forward slash. The cool thing about snippets is that they can be as simple as a block of plain text or a bit more advanced with input fields, drop down menus, or optionals. When you expand an advanced snippet like this one, a pop up window will appear. So we're going to be able to tailor the content of the snippet with the right information. Let's complete the snippet together. I'm going to leave this drop down menu as is. Let's write 3B on this input field and let's double click on this optional sentence to add it to the note. Click insert to transfer the content of the snippet into your note. And now all these snippets come preloaded on your free Charno account, over a thousand of them. They include many conditions for multiple specialties. Let me show you how to find these snippets. Open the chart note extension by clicking on the icon located on the right upper corner of your browser, or use this keyboard shortcut to speed things up. The first thing you will notice when opening the extension is your top 10 list. This will be empty if you just created a new account, but as you start using Charnot and inserting snippets, your most used templates will be saved here for quick access. For example, I want to use my atrial fibrillation snippet. I can use my keyboard arrows to navigate the list and hit enter to insert my snippet. Or I can use my mouse to click on the snippet. If your cursor is not on a text field in your EHR, you will see this message which is really important because you want to make sure that your cursor is in the right place when inserting the snippet. If you want to search for more snippets, you can type some keywords in the search bar. For example, I type CAD in the search box and select the snippet that I want to use. One thing I want you to notice is this little yellow square on the right side of the snippet. This indicates what section of the node this snippet belongs to. For example, this S stands for subjective, and this snippet has an AP for assessment and plan. Let's insert this into your note. If I type exam, you will see an O for objective. This snippet can be used in your physical exam portion of your note. And finally, you will see an M that stands for miscellaneous. Snippets labeled with an M are usually things that don't always belong to a note. For example, templates used for patient messages, CPT codes, etc. 
Another thing that I want you to notice is the abbreviation of the snippet in the dark blue box. This is the abbreviation you need to use if you want to expand the snippet as you type. For example, if I want to insert this snippet for coronary artery disease, I can type on my note the at symbol followed by CAD hashtag and hit tab on my keyboard. This will expand my snippet without opening the extension. If you can't find the snippet you're looking for, you can create your own or import snippets from our community library where users like you share their snippets for anyone to use. You can also edit the content of the snippets, rename them and change the abbreviation. I encourage you to click on the library tab to explore all the different snippets available to you. Next, let me show you how to create a note like this one. This is a 55 year old female with history of diabetes presenting to the ED complaint of chest pain period. Next line, in the ED, her EKG without evidence of acute ischemia period. Troponin was negative period. First, turn on the microphone on your chart note extension and click on this icon to display your QR code. Then launch chart note mobile on your smartphone and go to the web QR sync tab. Here, you can scan the QR code in your computer and start using your phone as a microphone. But let me give you an expert tip here. To get excellent voice to text transcription accuracy is very important that you place your smartphone a few inches away from your mouth when you start dictating. Of course, if you don't have your smartphone with you, you can always use a regular USB microphone to dictate. You could even use your computer's internal microphone to dictate, but you won't get optimal accuracy, especially if you're in a noisy environment. Another thing to be aware of is that you will get better results when you dictate complete sentences versus dictating single words. Our speech recognition has a more reliable transcription of your dictation when it has more context. So let's see. There are three ways you can start and stop the microphone. If you're using your smartphone, simply press the microphone button on the screen. If you're using a microphone connected to your computer, click on the microphone button on the dictation bar on your computer screen or use this keyboard shortcut, which is very convenient. You can always change the shortcuts in the extension settings. Next, start dictating your note using punctuation marks like period and a comma, and use voice commands like next line or next paragraph. For a full list of voice commands, check out the link in the comment section below. One thing you should bear in mind is that similar to when you're inserting snippets for the transcribed text to be inserted in your note, your cursor needs to be in the right place, and that is on a text box in your EHR. If this is not the case, your dictation will not go through. Now, once you have finished your dictation, go ahead and set up the microphone. Just wait a couple of seconds so the entire transcription goes into your note. One important thing I want to mention is that you can change the position where the dictation bar shows up on your screen. For example, if you want to change it from the right bottom to the left bottom of your screen, go to Preferences in the Settings menu of the extension and select the one that works better for you. Finally, let's have a look and review the note. See if there's anything you need to add. Now that you know how to create a note using Charnote, go ahead, create a free account on our website and jump into creating your own. If you want to see more videos like this one, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you next time.